Hey guys, so another video here um, on brakes. So this is my um, 1990 Buick LeSabre that I'm working on. Um, getting the brakes put back together. Um, I have other videos on how I did this and tips. Um, so maybe I'll link this that in this video maybe um, so you guys can t take, a, take a look at that. But anyway, what I ran into on the other side um, didn't run into this issue. The um, the caliper guide pins that slide back and forth came out pretty easily. In this case, here and here, they they were so caked on. I have never seen guide pins as bad as this. And I know there's probably a mechanic that's going to watch this and be like, oh, that's nothing. Because they have. Check this out. There isn't a bit of silver on this one anywhere. It is just caked on rust. This one has a tiny, like more silver, but it's like these should be completely lubed up and slide freely. And these things were so seized. No wonder, my, like my brakes, I honestly have probably only was using one brake. Um, I have a, had a spongy brake pedal and I actually thought, oh, maybe I need to bleed the brakes. I'm starting to think maybe it was just because this was a seized guide pin and this the brakes on the side weren't even working. So um, just wanted to share with you guys how I got it out. So they were in there deep um, and were sticking through the other side just by like a smidge. However, they're complete cylinders. So it's not like I could put channel lock pliers around them and maybe rotate it in a circle or anything to break it loose. Um, some have like little wings on the side or something something where they're not totally round um so if you have ones like that i would suggest getting like channel lock pliers or um there's other videos out there with other cool ways of getting them out not always the best ways but um i don't really like hammering unless i have to and in this case i didn't want to damage this any in any way because i don't want to replace it um, so I tried very lightly with some pliers um, just to twist it um, was not working at all so with this all the way in what I did is I just found the closest socket size that I could to that because um, I don't want to like damage it in any way I stuck it directly over the top and I just started whacking with the hammer because I knew it was supposed to come out um, I wouldn't recommend this unless you know for a fact that it's supposed to come out. Um, didn't want to damage the rubber at all, but slowly but surely, um, it can't, it, sl it slid out, and then my uh, you just knock the socket out after. That isn't really stuck, so um, yeah, that is my way of getting it out. Hope that helps someone out. Um, afterwards, I'm just gonna spray in there. You can see how rusty it really is in there, and that should not be rusty at all. That is just nasty. So. I'm gonna spray some lube in there, um, grease these things up and make sure that they are um, sliding free. And then I'm gonna probably soak them in some vinegar or something to try to get as much rust as possible off them. But um, I wanted to share that with you guys. And um, yeah, that was my way of getting them out. You guys have any comments or if you're running into, into any other problems, if you have the same problem, um, let me know in the comments and can, See if I can help you in somewhere. Till next time, guys.